Hi guys, Chilli Cube, Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a <coughs> boom, a boom bloom on the um, serving paddle. So I have done a few of these now and I'm just working my way through doing sev several several of them that I want to do. For give, I, I want to give them as gifts. Um, you can sell them, they do sell well because they're a practical thing. So this is an acacia wood uh, timber paddle. Um, I'm not too worried if I get paint on this side because I've got my little mouse sander that I can go over and get rid of all the paint. I can re-sand it and then I'll re-oil it. Um, but that's when everything is finished and dry um, and then I'll, I'll, res I'll resin it as well so you can have this as a serving paddle you know it's nice to put out with a whatever you choose it can have cake on it can have whatever on it it can have a bit of cheese and your cutting knife and they're nice to give as a gift with a cheese knife um, yeah as the gift so that's what I intend doing with mine now today I am I've just done one for my son that was more just a swipe to look a little bit more masculine so today I'm going to do one for the daughter-in-law so I will do a flowery because she prefer you know I think she'll prefer <laughs> that she may like the um, but I know she likes green so these are the greens that I have so I'm going to try and incorporate the greens this is the uh, boom gel stain it's an Australian made product but they have got spe uh, stockists in the UK Europe and uh, USA so the link below uh, Capriol Shabby Chic sell it in Australia and there's an also a link to the boom gel stain a uh, main site that will forward you on to international stockists so it's a pre-made pouring paint um, it's you only use a very tiny bit of it and it's pre, it's basically pre-made to do lots of things it does the bloom effect um, the sort of style bloom effect that's going you know that you basically see everywhere now it does that uh, but without all the uh, ingredients and the sort of thinking about how to do it uh, you've seen me do it before so uh, if you haven't then just have a look at some of my videos so you'll see them there now the only thing I like to add to the the final layer that I'm going to swipe with or that I'm going to blow out the bloom with is this boom cells uh, activator so they, uh, that's available too so is there anything that I haven't covered okay I don't think so so my intention is to what I did with this was I sanded it down and I've put one coat of the um, sterling wax on it and let and allowed it to dry because I found last time the paint sunk quite deeply into my base color into the timber should I say and kind of uh, made the colors uh, dull down a bit I suppose because the wood is just ab absorbed them all um, so that's hence why I put uh, just just the same kind of paint there I suppose you could use a undercoat or just any paint as an undercoat would do fine I suppose uh, uh, this is trial and error for me so I'll see how these turn out obviously I've put me masking tape over so I get a nice straight line to the finished product I'm not worried about the very edges because I can spend time after I've got the top looking nice doing the edges and I, I don't mind just running them around in a solid color if the rest of the bloom doesn't go over the edge that is so this is just the silver I just thought I'd do something different as a base coat rather than um, maybe black or white I thought oh, I'll do silver because I think the greens that I'm going to use will go nice with the silver too so 
So here we go. But yeah, they're, they're great. Like if you want to give your neighbour, your friend, your family a gift and then put a, like I said, a cheese knife with it, it's, it's lovely, you know. It's a nice thing to, especially this time when everybody's feeling a bit iffy and low, it's, it's a really nice time to give a gift, I, I believe. So there we go. A fair bit round the here because that's where I want to well I actually want to try and get something on most of this paddle um, I'll just see how we go right so I might put a little bit of white to start with which is just the sterling wax white it's called Let's get some of these greens. This is the Eclectus green. You don't use too much of these paints, so they go a long, long way. This is tree frog green. The good old tree frog, beautiful tree frogs. I love frogs. I love all animals, so. There you go. Where, 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 where's my gold? Oh, I might go the bronze. Might put a bit of bronze in here. Okay. I haven't got no pearly colours in there, but I might. This is the pearlescent mauve, so I think that will go really nice with those colours too. Just really hoping that it does stand up against the silver, but hopefully the silver will be covered up mostly when I put my darker. So I've got the very deep violet and I've added two drops of the cell enhancer. So when this is fully dried, ready to uh, resin, I will just make sure that I get any traces of any silicone off my board I will I just wipe it over several times with a soft soapy cloth soapy damp cloth so I'm hoping that that'll work so here we this is the what I've got to basically hopefully bring up all some nice pretty cells in it all Probably should have put this one a bit further away from the edge and then blowed it, blown it towards the edge. And just think of these things afterwards. Never mind. I'm going to just use my trusty old straw. I have it with the. I mean, this this is a silicone end that you would normally use for your mouth end, so you can wash it but I like it because I can kind of guide everything a bit better with this. So get me windy pops up and here I go. Not looking crash hot there. Don't know what's going on. particularly like in those at the minute so we'll still work with it Ah, 
don't like it not real happy not happy Jen do you know what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna turn it into a swipe I'm gonna swipe it so what I'm gonna do is put a bit of pearlescent lie down here probably don't need too much color in there now because of all of that that I've got there I'll swipe we'll just see I might stuff it up if not if, if I'm not happy with it not happy Jan I will just wipe that paint off and start again so no biggie didn't use tons of paint oh silly sausage I didn't use tons of paint so I'm not too concerned no the light green so I'm just going to swipe the handle as well oops a daisy so if there's something there you don't like change it easy peasy lemon squeezy okay I might I'll go back over with this what I have left if I can stretch it out see how we go with this one now I'll just use this soft plastic sometimes need something a little bit firmer with this particular paint because it's thicker than when I swipe with just straight um, acrylics and that pearlescent that's popping up in there that looks gorgeous gorgeous so I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it to basically hold it down in the paint to help it do its thing so go over the handle it's all good all good all good just bring a bit of that down it all work itself out don't stress over anything is there's no set rules it's your art room so they're your rules and as I say before the only rule is there's no rules so just merrily go along your little way if you're not happy with something sometimes stand back and think well other person might like it even though I'm not happy with it um, you know if it's not disastrous not worried about the edges because I'll fix them up there's a bit dark here but I know when I pull the tape off that'll take away a lot of that dark so I suppose I can give it another little go over the top so the green is coming through that deep violet very nicely I will just give it a little wave gently with my wonder wand my wonder wand it's it this is a heat embossing tool so it's not it doesn't get any hotter than uh 350c centigrade so it's it won't burn your paint And they're available all my stock is for all of these delicious goodies that I've just used the boom gel the the heat wand everything except for the wooden paddle which I got from Kmart Australia um, is available in the link below which is Capriol Shabby Chic so if you press I think if you uh, lots of people have told me they're having difficulty finding the drop-down box uh, usually it can have like a little V so you press on that and then the information will drop down of all what I put in uh, sometimes you click on description um, 
and I think somebody told me another trick is to actually click back on the title and then the drop down box will come as well I think if you're on a TV then you won't get that you have to be on your phone or a laptop or uh, an iPad or something similar so but there you go I'm happy with that because I know that that will look pretty stunning when it's had when it's all dried and it's had the resin coat it's just something a little bit different than doing I mean I did want to do the bloom on this but I've got another one to do so I'll do the bloom on the next one seems that the boys like more so this look than the bloom so one of the lads can choose it and um, I'll do some blooms for me girls if that's what they so desire I love this I love it thank you guys for watching thanks so much for subscribing to my channel and leaving the comments I really do appreciate um, each and every one of you so if you haven't subscribed please do so it's absolutely free um, there might be a little end screen here that you can click on to uh, other in videos that you might be interested in so until next time hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when I have a new video come out that you will be notified and it is all free so you will see these timber paddles that I've been busily doing myself when they're all finished dried and then I come to resin them um, that'll be another stage and you know I'll give it a couple of weeks to dry fully so until then thanks so much for joining me bye for now till next time